One really great tool in the Granime 3 software is the new way of making your presets, your macros, and lots of other things look just the way you like it. You can do that with a few different tools, and in this video, I'll go through some of the different functionalities you can use to accomplish the look you're trying to achieve. I'm talking about appearances. Appearances is a cool and simple way for you to customize the look of different aspects of your Granime 3 appearance. You can color almost everything to distinguish one preset from the other or make your store macro stand out so you don't press it by mistake. So let's get into this Granime 3 appearance tutorial. The Granime 3 appearances can be used to change the look of a preset, a macro, a fader, and even the LED light on the physical faders on the real Granime 3 consoles. And it's not even limited to that. You can assign your appearances to a lot of different places in the console. And as you can see, I prepared a little show file for us right here. Let's first go into this empty area or create your own uh, area. And let's uh, find our appearances. It's right here. That's our appearance tab. Let's just... Uh, make this a little bit smaller and let's start to uh, to see what we can do with it. You have all these appearances right here and they don't really make any sense to begin with, but uh, to see how appearances work, let's start over here in our master queue list. So if we press this one and uh, we go into the settings right here, you have this appearances tab right here. If you click that one, you can select one of the images uh, I just showed you over and uh, in the appearance tab. But if you go down to new, you get this one up here. So let's start with making a uh, color appearance. Let's just put it into red for now, like this. Let's just close it down. And as you can see, it's red now. Let's close this one down. Everything over here turned red. And as you can see, a new appearance turned up here. So you have the appearance pool. And uh, in the appearance pool, every time you build a new appearance, it uh, it comes up here. And the cool thing about appearances is you can use them and you can reuse them. So if I go into my store macro right here and say, okay, I want my store macro to be red, I can simply say edit, go up into the appearance tab here, and now I can select the red appearance we just made. So we click this one down and this one is now red. The cool thing is then you can say, okay, I want to change this appearance. I want it to be blue. And uh, as you can see, it changed here and it changed up here. So this one over here is a reference. We can use it and we can reuse it everywhere we want. So let's just put it back into red like this. This is our first appearance. But appearances is a two-part thing. Let's just try to build a new one. Let's say edit. We have the image color or the foreground and you have the background color. So before we just use the image color, let's just try to use the background color. Let's put it into blue and let's turn the alpha channel all the way up and let's turn the alpha channel all the way down on the image color and we clear this one out. Then we go into our color queue right here. We go into appearances and as you can see down here, this selects a border around the, the fader like this. So if we clear this one down, it builds a border around it. So basically we can still change this and say, okay, this is our background color. I want to edit this and put it into maybe yellow on our foreground. So we turn this one all the way up. And as you can see, it has a background color of blue and a foreground or image color of yellow. So this is going to change uh, our fader to look like this. The background color affects the physical faders you you've, you've seen the images of the real granime 3 consoles you have like an led light on the fader and you can change the color by using the appearances and you can use the background color like this so in this case if we had a real granime 3 console our faders led light would now be blue because we used the background color what I just showed you is something you can use in your granime 3 programming but as with everything else you don't have to use it you can customize your show file just the way you like it and uh, how much work you want to put into it is all up to you. You could check out this next video you can see on your screen right now. It'll guide you to another cool part of the Granime 3 software and possibly give you some new insights of the Granime 3 software. I hope I see you in the next video, but until I see you again, happy Granime 3 programming.